Alright, so if you're trying to install Windows 10 or 11 and you're not seeing your M.2 NVMe drive, um, it can be two things. So first thing, we're going to have to load a driver. Okay, I'm going to browse for that. I actually went to Intel's website. So if you Google Intel VMD driver, um, it'll give you like the Intel Rapid Storage MR, uh, Intel RST thing or whatever. Um, and then you also get these Intel VMD drivers. So you can try like the non-Intel non -Intel VMD and you can do the Intel VMD. So we're going to try doing this first and see what happens. So we'll click that. We'll go to next. We'll let it install the driver and we'll see if the SSD um, pops up or not. So there's two different things. It can be a driver issue or it can be your SSD doesn't support the Intel VMD. Here you can see it didn't show any drive. So we're going to try again. Let's try the non-Intel VMD. And actually there's no driver here. <laughs> okay, so because we don't get the thing, so here you can see they have all these other like Intel chipsets. So if you uncheck this, then you can see the other drivers. Um, but it's hiding the ones that aren't compatible. So what we're going to do, we're going to quit the installation here. We're going to exit this. Okay. And now what we're going to do, we're going to boot to the BIOS. Uh, the customer here didn't set up their CPU uh, fan connection properly. So it's going to complain about that. But uh, this isn't what we're working on. We're working on the uh, SSD detection issue. So we're going to BIOS. It says press F2 or delete. So I'm pressing the delete key. We should get into the BIOS. Here you go. Okay, so next thing we're going to do, we're going to go to advanced mode. This is for ASUS or ASUS. Uh, Asus or Asus motherboards. We'll go to advanced mode. Next, what we do, we go to advanced. Here we have this system agent, SA configuration. Then you see this, um, sorry, where is it here? VMD setup menu. All right, so we'll go in there. And all we gotta do is disable the VMD controller um, and then say okay. So I don't know if their SSD doesn't support it or their processor doesn't support it or if it really is just maybe we have the wrong driver. I don't know. Um, but for some reason it doesn't want to work with that. We're going to exit here. We're going to save changes and reset. Okay. And then now we're going to boot from the hard drive or the boot drive again or the boot installer. Pressing delete again. Of course it's going to complain about the fan. Right, so I'm going to press delete. Okay, F1 to ignore the fan thing. And we can also turn that setting off in there. But uh, they should plug their fan into the right spot. So that way it can know when to speed up properly. All right, we're going to go to the boot menu. You can press F8 or click there. Then we're going to boot from my USB. I actually already got this working earlier. Okay, so we'll boot there. And I selected the 64-bit option. Okay. Now we got the Windows installer starting up. Okay. All right, I accidentally pushed the volume button, which is going to turn off the recording if I let go. So I got to keep holding this button. Hopefully, it's actually recording the whole thing. Okay. All right, here we go. So I'm going to go to next. All right. Enter. Install now. Enter. All right, they didn't tell me if they have a Windows license to um, install, so I'm going to go, I don't have a product key. I'm assuming they want Windows 10 Home, so I'll press Enter there. Okay, and it should be going. There you go. Spacebar to accept the terms. Enter. Then we'll go down to Custom, and here you can see, we see the SSD now. So now you just install Windows like normal, and that should solve the problem. Um, I'm not exactly sure 100% what the Intel VMD does. Um, it says something about like making stuff like hot swap or I don't know. Um, you can Google that if you feel it's important. You can do some more research on finding the right driver or hardware to put in. Um, but I think it's some drives don't support it and that's why it doesn't show up. Um, anyways, that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.